before I really get into it, I'm going to go through the steps of creating an entirely new project. File, New Project, Standalone Project. I pasted the name of my chip in here, and what comes up are four different choices. Pretty sure this is the one that I have with nothing at the end. Pick 18F452. Go next. I'll choose the pick kit I'm using. And whether it works or not, I will choose the XC8 compiler. If you watching are wondering why I said that, it's because I don't have the official microchip pick kit 3. I have the knockoff one, and that has some issues with regard to compiling, and I won't get into that. There's lots of YouTube videos on that subject. I'll call it trying out 18F452. Okay, here's my project, source files, I'll do a right click, new, main.c, I'll call it 18F452, okay, I'll do a new header, xc8 header dot h I will call it 18f452 underscore header from the binder tronics video which actually uses a similar version of the chip I am using he deletes all of the comments And he seems to delete all of this. Actually, to make it consistent with that tutorial video, I'm going to change the name of this to exactly what he had, which is conbits.h. And now he changes the header name here, all capitals. And here. The next task is to set up the configuration bits. So, window, window, okay, window, target memory view, configuration bits. Just checking the data sheet for my chip. Having done a word search, there doesn't appear to be an internal oscillator. I will have to come back to this. This is on page 17 of the data sheet, and I'll have to pick one of these oscillator options later. I will leave it as the default for now. I will Disable the brownout reset and disable the watchdog timer. And he disables the stack overflow or underflow, will not cause a reset. Generate source code. Then he copies all of the source code, copies all of it, and then pastes it into 
the header file. He deletes this last include. Then he pastes the oscillator frequency in here, which I will just have as 4 megahertz for now. Next he goes to the default, then customize, and this is going into the power settings, which has always been a challenge for me. He clicks on pick kit 3, then he goes memory to program, memory to program, and then power. In his video, he doesn't click on an external power supply, but this might be worth experimenting with and maybe powering the pick kit 3 with 5 volts. I'm not sure. He clicks apply even though no changes have really been made, and then OK. Then he goes back to the C main file. Sorry, because I think I left it recording there. That's just what he did. And now build to check. It's sort of doing it as I speak, and I think I hit it once already, so clean successful build. Alright, it did all this stuff, sort of populated this box in succession, and I guess it's successful. And amazingly, that took over seven minutes. Thank you.